Hey, Mark Nelson. In today's Facebook Live, I want to share with you the biggest mindset shift I had to make going from a struggling employee mindset to becoming an entrepreneurial mindset. Hey, if you're coming on this live, type a one below. Tell me where you're coming from. If you're on the replay, type two. And give me a hashtag replay and tell me where you're coming from. God, what was the worst job you've ever had? I mean, are, are you an employee now? Are you working for a job now? And there's nothing wrong with jobs. I'm not, this is not meant to bash jobs. It's just the mindset shift that has to be made. I want to share my mindset shift with you. I had a different story though. I became an entrepreneur entrepreneurial first, entrepreneur, and then I had to, then I went back to corporate world. And that shift was, it was just so different when I got inside those cubicles because there, there were so many things, see if this made sense, because, you know, when I was an entrepreneur, I knew what I had to do all the time. When I became to an employee, it was almost like I had to be told what to do. And then I kept watching people you know, suck up or brown nose and that weren't as talented as myself that were getting these promotions and only because I didn't believe in becoming the brown nose. Or there's just so many games being played. Watching people check into that clock, waiting for the buzzer, waiting for the bell to ring to release them. That mindset was just an unbelievable mindset. The shift to becoming an entrepreneur, entrepreneur <laughs> was really pretty amazing because the shift to becoming an entrepreneur is you don't have that time clock. You're on your own time. You get to make those decisions about when you're going to be working. Now, most of us coming in a home-based business or an online business, a digital business, we start part-time, right? So you're coming from a job, and there, again, there's nothing wrong with jobs because we've all had them, right? But becoming from a job and going to become an entrepreneur later in the day or maybe early in the morning, because you know I just get so jacked of building my own business. But then going to my J-O-B, that mindset of, creating somebody else's wealth was just really hard for me to accept all the time. See, it was just hard to watch people not do their work. It was hard to watch people not as talented as other people get raises. I just, I just, I didn't understand how that worked. I really didn't. So let me know, have you ever done anything as an entrepreneur? Are you an entrepreneur and what are you doing? You know, what business are you building or what business are you trying to build? Or what business are you hoping to build? Type it in the comments below. Tell me, what are you trying to do? Now I asked this earlier, what was your worst job? I mean, I'm not talking as a kid, because as a kid, I worked for the city of our town, and that was great. You know, it was really pretty amazing to watch all the tax drivers drive around watching city employees to make sure they're working. That always kind of blew my mind. But the, the freedom, the freedom of being your own boss, and maybe that's just me. I, I, I just don't like being told what to do. Do you like being told what to do? Hey, Ashley, that is really cool. In art business, see, that's funny because my mind's math. And then I always heard this thing that if you could draw a circle, you're considered an art. Man, I can't draw a circle for nothing. That must mean I'm not a very good artist. <laughs> and I'm sure you're, good luck, because good for you. That There are very few people are trying to do their own business. Hey, again, if you're coming on live, let me know. Let me know what was your worst feeling. If you are, were in a job and became an entrepreneur, what was the worst feeling you ever had? 
as a job, being an entrepreneur, right? Just tell me what the worst job that you ever had. So, hey, my mental mind shift, because I told you my story is a little different. I started as an entrepreneur, went back to working. No, me either, Ashley. That's a challenge. I, I still have it today. Um, be coming back the into the corporate world, and, and now I'm a high school teacher, and I love teaching because to tell you the truth, in my classroom, it's my job. But the same thing, I have to listen to the policies that some people who have never been in the classroom are putting in, and it's just like, what are you doing? It just blows me away. So it's just, it's just unbelievable. But that mental mind shift. So now I've gone from entrepreneur to a corporate world. Now I'm coming entrepreneur again. I'm building my own business. I'm building my online digital business. That is going to give my wife and I freedom. So the mind shift, mind set shift sorry about that, that I had to make was, you know, sometimes have you ever found yourself doing this in your job when you come to the work you just kind of come in and just kind of sit down and wait for the day to start have you ever done that see what what i do as an entrepreneur is totally different i am so jacked when i get started i mean sometimes what i need to do is unbusy my mind because i'm going all over the place i have to really give myself notes to make sure that I keep myself on track. So in your job, what do you see? I mean, what do you see that's the biggest challenge of working for somebody else? Just tell me that below. What do you see as the most exciting part of being an entrepreneur, of having your own business, of having your own time freedom see now that's me Th that's what I think I want my own time freedom hey Mark Elliott Davis and coach Wyatt how the heck are you guys doing today so again I want to ask you I probably misplaced my thought because these two guys came on who I just expect the unbelievable stuff from Mark Elliott Davis you you got a great first name do you know that <laughs> Here's what I want to do. Oh, I wow. Gosh, Ashley, I am so sorry. She gave me a comment about being a volunteer and who treated the volunteers like, like slaves. Oh man, I hear it. I, I see it. You know, that the, there's some owners of businesses and managers, they just think that hey, they get to do tell you whatever you're doing. That just sucks, man. That just doesn't, they don't treat you like the person you're supposed to be, like the person you are. The most, the mental mind shift that I had to make a shift in, right? From coming back from corporate back to an entrepreneur is, I, I had to really start believing in myself again. Because I, I think in the job mindset, people are, you know, they, they give you a job and they kind of tell you that this is where you're plugged into. This is what you can do. You cannot do anything else. When you're an entrepreneur, you know, it opens up the world. It just gives you the world again that says you can do anything you stinking want to do. Isn't that cool? See, the biggest thing about me being an entrepreneur and the biggest mindset is when I got started here, because I'm doing part-time stuff, is I needed to surround myself with a community of people that always had my best interest in heart, but always kept pumping me up and telling me how good I can be and where I could go and how much I could achieve. See, I don't see that as a job. You know, the, the job, they always put the thumb on you and how dare you think you can get a promotion. See, but being an entrepreneur, people are out here cheering you on. Yes, Mark, you can go get it. Go get your dreams. How cool is that? So, hey, let me, tell me what in the comments below. If you're an entrepreneur, what are your dreams? What would you really, what are you trying to achieve? 
What is your biggest goal that you're trying to achieve? Write it in the comments below so I can come back and we can have some comments from this. If you're coming on the replay, tell me, what are you trying to achieve in your business? Hey, Tom, I almost said Merkley. I'm sorry about that. That's what happens when you're kind of old. I need those reading glasses because I can't see it on my glasses. But hey, here's what I'd like you to do is find yourself a community. I belong to a great community of people. Great community of people that not only push me up, but help me push others up and just let me try to live out my dreams. If you'd like information to find out more about that community, type info below. Give me an info below and I'll connect and I'll give you some more information about that community. You guys, peace out. I love you all. Take care. Go grow your business. Become an entrepreneur. And, and again, I'm not bashing jobs. If that's Some people have great jobs and they need to be in that place. Not, I don't want to say that, but some people, jobs are okay and uh, they're helping people inside that job. If that's you, that's just unstinking believable because we need people doing that too. But if your legacy is to build a business, go build your business. Again, if you want more info on the community that I'm in, type the word community in the comments below. Tell me where you're coming from. Peace out. We'll talk again tomorrow. Bye.